Hello guys, it's Rackman. man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction, man. So today we're going to be talking about um, Liverpool versus um, Wolverhampton in the 2019-20 uh, Premier League, man. So Wolf, yeah, Wolf just beat Manchester Un Manchester City 3-2, uh, man. Uh, great comeback versus City, man. And you know what? They beat City, you know they're going to play Liverpool. You know what's going to happen. They're going to lose. They're going to lose, man. I swear, bro, all these teams in the Premier League, bro, when it comes to Liverpool, they, 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 they suck, bro. When it comes to City, they, they play their best, man. It's just crazy how, how they react, man. But um, this game probably should have been a draw, man, or probably a win for Liverpool because, like, I'm not sure, man. I'm kind of hippy on the first goal that uh, Mane scored. It looked like um, I forgot what play the ball came off, off, man. It looked like it was a handball, man. VR, so the, VR ruled it off, um, handball, then... They gave it to Liverpool, of course. Then, um, then uh, Wolves scored right bef uh, before the end of the, uh, the first half, man. And uh, it was ruled offside because a, a hand, that, that hand, like right here, man, from right here was offside. And they, they took the goal back, man. So, you know what, man? Liverpool run Premier League. So, they go. it is what it is, man. So, um, yeah, man. Yeah, La Lana came off, man. And uh, Liverpool, man, they, they, they're getting wins, bro. They're getting, it's always somebody will score that goal, man. No matter how t everybody is on bad form, whatever, man, it's always somebody that comes up with that one goal, man. You ever seen that movie like Angels in the Outfield, bro? That's how Liverpool is, bro. They always get the win some way, somehow. So I don't know how they do it, but they do it from every week, bro. They do it every week, man. And Liverpool, man, undefeated season, man. Undefeated season, bro. This is the best team we're going to see played in Premier League. Guarantee you that, man. And uh, uh, Alex Arnold, bro, this guy has been performing great football for, for you could say for the past three years, man. This guy is phenomenal, bro. Probably, def in my opinion, he's the best right back in the, in, in, in the world. He's the best right back in the world. I don't care what nobody says, he's the best right back in the world. Uh, man, if he made performance by him, it was very, very good. Lalana, surprisingly, was very good. Surprised that he start uh, today, man. Uh, Firmino's attacking midfield role, Salah up top. Um, Salah up top was very very poor overall. He did add like a good karate strike at one point in the first half, man. But that didn't nothing really uh, came out of that. He ran straight to the goalkeeper, uh, Patricio. And uh, yeah, man, Firmino was very very poor. Probably one of the poorest game I see Firmino play, man. Attacking midfield, I, I, I thought he would have shined in there because it's all up play, is uh, dribbling, is passing, his vision. Um, he does have that when he plays a striker, man. So. Put him behind the strike, I thought it would have been more intricate, more vital in that situation, man. But unfortunately, it wasn't. Mane had a very good game, man. That goal that he scored was very good. Being at the right place at the right time, pretty much. Uh, Hallison came up with a great save at the end to really uh, preserve that um, preserve that win for Liverpool after a mistake by uh, Van Dijk. Van Dijk did make a mistake that almost led to Liverpool um, concede a goal, man. But he was fantastic in the, in the defense, man. All Liverpool defense was fantastic. Uh, Robertson was probably the poorest of all of them, but very good game by him. Uh, Winaldo had an all right game, not the best game, but an all right game. Um, who else, man? Uh, Salah Opta talking about Lalana did all right. So uh, Liverpool play, man. All they play played very well, man. The sub that came on, Milner, uh, Navikita, Origi didn't really make a big impact on the game, but I think if Liverpool needed a goal, one of those sub would have scored that goal, man. That's how good Liverpool is, man. The pressing is very good. Um, Passing is very good overall. It's just a, a great performance by Liverpool, and just keep putting it on because Wolf, Wolf ain't no run over, bro. Wolf is a very, very good team, man. My boy Adam Traore is a beast. Uh, Jimenez is a monster, bro, and the defense is very good overall, man. So very good team, man. Both team was e pretty much equal when it comes to like shots and shots on target in general. Um, yeah, man. Both team created a good amount of chance. Although Liverpool had more ball possession. Um, Wolf was very quick and very good on the counter attack. Liverpool had a um, pretty much caught Liverpool slipping on a few times, but Liverpool were players were able to recover and stop him. Adam Atrari came off the bench, man. But when he came off the bench, man, clearly he was the best player out there today, bro. Coming off the bench um, in the 58 minute, bro, replacing I want to say replace uh, Denda Core, uh, Denda Car, man. He came on and he was fire, bro. Very, very hard to shut down, very hard to contain. His dribbling, his strength, his passing, bro, his, his shots. He, he's just a monster, bro. This guy's a monster. Uh, the first time I saw Adama Traore played, man, was versus uh, Santos. That's when, um, that was when, um, 
Neymar first joined Barcelona a few years ago and uh, they had a they had a uh, pickup game and Barcelona destroyed Santos. He was like 17 or 16 years old, man. He was a monster. I'm like, yo, this kid is a beast. Uh, and I've uh, been following him ever since, man. He went to Austin Villa, went to Millsburg, and now he's at um, Wolfberg. Wolfberg, he's just blossomed into the freaking tank at Wolfberg, man. So shout out to my boy Adam Traore, bro. One of my favorite play, man. And uh, yeah, man, midfield wise, it was flat, bro. Flat midfield wise, defense was flat, goalkeeper was trash overall man but poor this game i see the um wolf play man but uh you know what vr if vr wasn't there man it probably would have been a 1-1 one -one draw or a 1-0 win for wolf wolf for Hampton. you never know man it's a different day different time man different team would have been different story so uh shout out to wolf shout out to liverpool great win for liverpool Will liverpool what 13 points above city um yeah premier league in the back bro um stat wise man liverpool better team overall 63 percent ball possession while Wolverhampton had 37% uh, ball possession, uh, both teams had 10 shots in total. Liverpool had three shots on target. Wolverhampton had uh, two shots on target, man. So Wolverhampton probably the best team that played Liverpool. Give Liverpool the hardest fight, man. But come on, after the game versus City, man, I expect better from them. But like, subscribe. With that, you boys out of here.